Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Special Hobby that's a 148 scale aircraft kit which copies AF3S Guardian as you can see this particular boxing is also named as a MID Boom because it had this special let's say, device under its wing and now we have a chance to check it closer now let me remind you that we are gathering money for the new camera you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website it is easy, it is safe also because it's done via PayPal and of course you decide the amount we will get from you so be sure all the money will be used for the new camera, lightning equipment and some other tools which will help us get better video and photo for our reviews. As for the kit, as I said before, it is modded in 148 scale, it copies this quite special aircraft. Uh, box size is typical for this type of kits from Special Hobby here, you can see comparison with my hand. Um, on the side we have just information that it's made in Czech Republic and also on the other side some safety advices. I'm going to start with um, extra bonuses which are included into this kit. We have here resin ports which are packed into the separate plastic bag. As you can see out of resin we will be able to copy engine and note that each cylinder is molded separately so you have to install it one by one also here we have this separate boom i would say some external elements like exhaust for example here we have this uh, special ring for the engine some external equipment for the engine external equipment for air intakes and of course nose cone which is also molded as a one piece part I will zoom in so that you can see these parts closer, just give me a second. So here you can see them all. These are typical special hobby parts I would say. So I guess it should be easy to assemble them. And just give me a second, we will focus the camera. Now you can see them closer. So as I said, engine should be assembled out of separate cylinders. So be careful and take your time while gluing them in place. Now, I also see that there is one PE fret, but it won't be used for engine assembly. So mostly engine will be assembled out of all those resin parts which you can see now on the video. Next we have, as I said, PE fret. Just give me a second. So here it is. It is unpainted PE fret. We have here all necessary parts for external and internal equipment. As you can see, we have seat belts. Also, we have some parts for landing gear, nuts and legs. And those parts look quite nice, so I really doubt that you will have any problems with them. And next, in the same plastic bag, we have this decal sheet, which is printed. Well, there is no mention where it is printed, but note that we have you know, decals for the cockpit. Here also we have minor stencils and we have these large symbols which should be applied on the fuselage. Next, while this truck passing by, we have this bigger decal sheet. Here we have all main symbols for the uh, marking options which are included into this kit. Again, no mention where it was printed, I just see small symbol here, so I guess it hints on the uh, manufacturer of those decals but printing quality is really nice and I hope application won't be difficult as well so there is nothing to worry about. Next we have clear plastic sprue this one is packed into the separate plastic bag here you can see it closer of course you will be able to replicate open canopy on your aircraft with help of those parts and masks are not included into this kit so be ready to cut them or maybe search for some aftermarket set because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to cut those masks and you have to have some skills in order to do it properly. Molding quality again is really great and as you can see amount of attachment points is reduced to the possible minimum in order to simplify whole separation process. Next we have first grey plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to fuselage halves. Each fuselage half is molded together with tail segment. External detailing is typical for um, such kit, I would say. So we have recessed panel lines. And note that, for example, this door is pre-molded, closed, so you won't be able to open it. Um, next here we have also a frontal coning panel. That's a really nice addition, so that you won't have seam in such visible area. 
I really appreciate it. And inside we don't have any position pins as you can see, so be careful while gluing these parts in place, especially these large tail segments, because there won't be anything guiding you to the proper placement of these parts together. Next we have this plastic sprue with separate blades for the propeller, some um, special parts which should be placed on external surfaces. Here we have a raster hook. Everything is molded nicely and I think it will be easy to separate those parts. Next we have another plastic sprue. This one um, carries this nice landing gear wheels but note that each wheel should be assembled out of two parts so be careful while gluing them together. Maybe there is also resin replacement available. We will see it in assembly manual so if it is I would rather suggest to get resin instead of those parts. Then we have another um, plastic sprue. I guess this one will be used for today's version. Why? Because here we have new type of the wheels and also we have this boom and also fuel external external fuel tank as far as I can see. Now which have position pins inside? That's quite interesting. While large fuselage halves don't have any position elements, smaller fuel tanks have them out of the box. Here, the most interesting part, in my opinion, is this cockpit floor, which has some promoted detailing on the side walls, side panels. And then here we have dashboard, which also has promoted dials. And here you can see the control stick, which looks quite okay, I would say. Next, we have two absolutely identical plastic frames with external equipment. As you can see, those are torpedoes and fuel tanks. Molding quality seems to be fine. Inside we have position pins, so don't worry about possible placement problems. It should be easy to do. Next we have large plastic screw with huge wing parts. As you can see, wings have promoted flaps and ailerons, so you won't be able to move them on your aircraft. Now the same can be said about those tail wings, which have promoted elevators. So you won't be able to retract them or move in different position. Inside there are no position pins as you can see, but at least we get some detailing for uh, winding gear wheel wells. Next we have last grey plastic fruit. This one again mimics what we saw on the previous one. So we get wing parts and we also get tail wings which should be assembled out of two halves. And last but not the least is assembly manual which is printed in form of large brochure. I will pick it up in a second and we will check it closer. So just give me a second. Here it is. Let's zoom out so that you can see it in the full peak, let's say. So here it is. Large brochure with short history note in Czech and English. Then we have parts map. Note that many parts won't be used and they will go straight to your spare parts box. Here we have assembly process which starts with cockpit of course. Then we continue with uh, joining fuselage halves and closing the cockpit. Of course we assemble the engine and then we continue with this canopy. As you can see canopy is suggested to be assembled in a closed position so I'm not sure if it will be possible to open it. I guess it should be because we have main section molded separately. But as you can see in assembly manual it is displayed in closed position. Here we have also wing assembly process. Next we have landing gear. And note that there is a, a small note on the proper placement of the landing gear on your model. And those are final steps where you attach external equipment. There could be missiles or fuel tanks and torpedoes. It will be up to you. Here we have first marking option and marking guide for it, which is printed in color. Second marking guide in navy blue. Third marking guide. Fourth marking option. And then we have also some other options, other kits in 148 scale from the same manufacturer. Some of them were reviewed on our YouTube channel, so I recommend to check them. And here you can see some other kits as well. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, you can buy this kit on official uh, Special Hobby website. 
I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!